Hi guys, Brad Hawthorne. I'm going to show you how to adjust your zoom window on your LX6, 7, or 9. Simply push your menu button, go into sonar settings, and then go to zoom window right there, hit menu again, and you can go into 5, 10, 20, or 40 foot zoom. You see I'm in 10 now, and you see all these fish I have on my screen, they just blew up on this side of the screen. Now that may be a little bit too much for some guys, so you can see my lure just come up and a fish came up there. That might be a little bit too big of a screen or return for some people, so you can simply go back in there, go into your zoom window, and hit back to 20, and you see how it puts that reading more in proportion. So, that's how you adjust your Markham 6, 7, or 9 zoom window. Hey everybody, Joel Nelson with a Midwest Outdoors Tip of the Week. I want to talk a little bit about why we kneel when we ice fish. You know, on a day like today, you can probably see the wind, you can see my line, the way it's kind of whipping. One way to beat that scenario and to detect way more bites is to get down on your knees. I can form kind of a C shape, be able to block the wind. I'm fishing a rod specifically designed to be a little bit shorter, stay inside of that wind block, and I'm gonna plain and simple detect way more bites. When you detect more bites, you catch more fish and that's gonna put more panfish on the ice for you this winter. I like to use my portable shelters in conjunction with my wheelhouse. You know, I've got my wheelhouse set up on a main lake point, so during peak feeding periods, we'll jump back in the wheelhouse, but I always have my one-man otter hideout in the back of my truck. That's the way I can stay mobile during the day, trying to pick up the aggressive fish, and then just keep moving on down the break. And as soon as it gets to be peak feeding periods, I can just jump back in the wheelhouse and be comfortable for the rest of the evening. I'm Tony Roach, that was your Midwest Outdoors Tip of the Week.